Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 10th, around the 10th. So we're just going to see what comes up. I'm just going to cut this deck. We got the Page of Cups, ooh, and the Empress reversed. So we may have a lady or a feminine here who is not in a good place. Um, this is an offer of love, right? A Page of Cups is a message of love. The Empress in reverse may be somebody that's in pain. You know, she hasn't got her blessing yet or something like that. Lack of love, lack of unconditional love. Hmm. Page of Cups is, is could have something to do with a child, okay? The Empress in reverse could be, you know, I hate to say it, but it has something to do with a child, okay? This could be a termination, it could be an abortion. I mean, I don't, I don't know, but this could be, a, I mean, I'm just being honest, and I know people don't like honesty, but if you don't like honesty, you can go to Fantasyland and just click down on the next video, okay? This could be the loss of a child, you know, or it could be a child that's leaving home. I'm, I'm, I'm just being honest here, okay? I know people don't like it, but it is what it is. The Empress reversed, lack of love, lack of unconditional love, but that Page of Cups is a message of love or has something to do with a child. Or we may just have a, a feminine here that is hurting over a child. You know, maybe she's in pain over a child. No, I don't know. Let's keep going. What do we got? What do we got for a message today? There's, I don't know. Seven of Cups. Now the Seven of Cups is about options, choices, consequences. Beware. Beware of false beginnings. So there's some sort of choice here. Somebody's making a choice right now. They may be confused. They may be in a state of illusion. This is a difficult choice, right? There's, ma there's many options here. Somebody is exploring their options. And they're confused. They're, they're probably struggling with making a choice. We may have a woman, the empress in reverse could be a woman that doesn't know her value, okay? Let's just change that up a little bit. The empress in reverse may be a woman that doesn't know her value. She may be looking for love, okay? Three of swords reverse. So this is, could be extreme suffering. Could I bet somebody that's in extreme pain? But this could be leaving some hurt behind. We may have somebody here that's been suffering a lot. Um, this is leaving the past hurts behind. Six of Swords, going somewhere. Somebody's going somewhere. They're moving on. They've been in a troubled situation where there's been, I don't know what's been going on, but there's, there's obviously been some waves or there's been some uh, rough roads. This is going to a better place. There's been conflict. There's been a battle. There's been some power struggles. Somebody has been fighting with somebody because the Five of Swords comes before this, leaving a hostile situation behind. That's why the Three of Swords is reversed. There's been a lot of suffering. Exploring the options, going somewhere. I mean, the Empress in reverse is somebody that is in some sort of pain. She's suffering, she may not know her value, I don't know. Oh, look what just flipped over. I don't know if you can see it. It's gonna fall, but it's the Knight of Cups. Just flipped right over. So this is this is looking for love, looking for a relationship. Um, we could have a lover here. This is somebody that's looking for love, looking for a relationship. There could be an offer that is coming, or somebody is uh, leaving the past hurts behind, going somewhere, traveling in a new direction, looking for love, looking for love. We definitely have somebody here that's looking for a relationship.
They're making it. They're making it an advance, or they're making taking, you know, making an approach, making an offer. There could be an offer that is coming, an offer or an invite to go somewhere. There's some sort of feelings, you know. There's a lot of feelings here. Express acting on feelings. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is definitely acting on feelings, following the heart, expressing feelings, moving on, headed towards love. Somebody is headed towards love. They may be headed towards somebody that actually has a big heart. I mean, or is looking for love, looking for a relationship. Express, exp we also have with that six of swords. That is, that is, that's the rite of passage. That's going somewhere. It's traveling away from a troublesome situation where there's been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of suffering. Somebody has been exploring their options. They want a relationship. They want love. Somebody wants love. Acting on feelings. Leaving the past hurts behind. Somebody may even want forgiveness. I mean, the Three of Swords can be forgiveness. I'm not sure. Oh, another card just flipped over. It's the King of Cups reversed. Definitely could be dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's definitely very emotional. Okay, we have a lot of emotions here and a lot of thoughts going on. We have pain, we have waves, we have trouble, conflict, hostilities, leaving the hostilities behind, emotions all over the place, confusion. Definitely extremely intense emotional energy. King of Cups reverse, maybe somebody that's emotionally withdrawn, male or female. Okay, this is somebody that doesn't communicate. They may not have good intentions. They withhold their feelings. You know, they withdraw, emotionally withdrawn, emotionally unavailable, or emotions all over the place. We definitely have emotions and thoughts here. Pain, pain, pain. The Empress in reverse can also be a woman that does not take care of things. Okay, she doesn't take care of her children. She doesn't take care of her health. She doesn't take care of herself. She doesn't take care of her um, husband, boyfriend, whatever. The Empress in reverse does not do things with unconditional love, okay? She's very needy. She's self-absorbed. She's it's a, it's a feminine. This is somebody that is self-absorbed, mean-spirited, needy, um, may... Uh, not know her value, needs constant attention, high maintenance, may even be somebody that sleeps around a lot or hides things. We do have somebody here that is very wishy-washy, may see themselves as a victim. That is, I think that we have somebody here that may even play the victim at times. There, I want to say accusations. I don't know where that's coming from. If somebody's making some accusations, there's consequences here. There is some sort of consequences. There's there, the Seven of Cups, the first card out, it's about consequences. Consequences for the choices and the decisions that you make. So somebody's going to be, there's some sort of consequences. Somebody's leaving. They're leaving. Very emotional in their feelings. The Six of Swords is leaving. Okay, it is. It's a rite of passage. It's going somewhere. Leaving behind this conflict, this, this situation. Going to a better place. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Now the Ace of Pentacles, look at that, it's a new doorway. Somebody has a new opportunity that is, that is about to be handed to them. 
And I feel like it's because they listen to their heart. They listen to their intuition. They decide to leave because that six of swords is leaving. It is. It's moving on. Okay, so that is going somewhere. Looking for love. There's a golden opportunity here. This is something, this is a new investment. It's a new job. It could be a new, it could be a windfall. The Ace of Pentacles is a gift. It's a blessing, a blessing. Somebody is headed towards stability. Okay, this is something stable, long-term, secure, permanent, that can lead to some sort of permanent opportunity. There is an offer or an invite or somebody is coming with that Knight of Cups. They are headed and they're headed, they're headed right towards something real, something solid, something you can hold on to. I mean, that I always say you can take to the bank. This is something that you can touch. It's something real, okay? It's not something fluid. It's something real. Taking an opportunity. Somebody is going to be taking an opportunity. They're go going through a new doorway. They're going someplace. There's like... I almost feel like there's being courted as well. That page of cups, it's like an offer. This could be somebody that has a crush or, you know, an admirer that is, I don't know, that it feels like there's, I mean, that's a message. It's a, it's, it could be Cupid that's bringing two people together. I mean, that, that is a messenger. It's a messenger of love. But that Empress reverses, I feel like we have a woman here that, I don't know if she's in some sort of pain or what. But that Knight of Cups, is that, that's, some, that's a courting. That's a courting. So I don't know what that means. A courting. Um, making an approach. Giving somebody an offer, an opportunity. This is a, this is a heartfelt. It is heartfelt. It is something that is heartfelt. Following the heart towards stability. This is a gift. It's a blessing of some sort. Eight of Cups reverse next to that, underneath that Queen of Cups. So somebody could be leaving. They've been thinking about leaving. Well, we've talked about that already with the Six of Swords. Eight of Cups is thinking about it, taking some time to think about leaving. Somebody's been in an emotionally unfulfilling situation but refusing to leave. Come on now. Right? I mean, that's what that is. This is pretending to be happy. This is superficial. There could uh, definitely be an apology here as well. Somebody may be coming back. Maybe they ghosted somebody or they were exploring their options, you know, and they hurt somebody. I don't know. That Empress in Reverse could just be somebody that's hurting. I'm not sure. It's like she hasn't received her blessing yet. She's in some sort of pain. But there is a blessing here. Somebody's about to re receive a blessing. There is love that is, there's some sort of love that is coming. This is somebody could be, that maybe somebody that left, you know, they ghosted somebody, they could be coming back, I'm not sure. But this is, it could be also somebody that has been refusing to move on. They've been ignoring their intuition, they've been ignoring their heart, they've been pretending to be happy, staying in a emotionally disappointing situation. It's been, it's like it's been over, but this is refusing to move on. Emotions all over the place. Definitely, there is an opportunity here. Somebody is going to be taking an opportunity to, to depart or to leave or to get into a new relationship. We have an individual that is emotionally withdrawn. We do. King of Cups reverse next to that Eight of Cups reverse. They've been pretending they're happy. They've been emotionally disappointed for quite some time. There's, this is like taking an opportunity. Somebody is taking an opportunity. Ooh. Seven of Swords. Now, this may be making an escape. You know? Um, plotting and planning. Getting out of a situation. Taking a new approach. Doing something risky. So somebody may be doing something risky. This is somebody that is very intelligent, that plans things. This is somebody that doesn't just act on a whim. This is somebody, this is like, that thinks before they take action. Okay, so we have somebody here that 
mm, I feel like they're doing something. They're, they're getting, I feel like they're getting out of a situation. There's even some sneaky behavior here, doing something sneaky. Making an escape, getting out of a situation. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is an exciting new opportunity. This is taking, it's an exciting new adventure, okay? This is just going for it. This is taking action. This is passion. Passion. Exciting, exciting new beginning here. Somebody may even have a new exciting doorway that's opening up obviously we have new beginnings here we have two aces there could even be a new sexual partner because the seven of swords next to the ace of wands i mean that can be cheating i don't know if somebody's been cheating i mean going somewhere you know going somewhere and i don't know maybe they get caught Maybe that's that empress in reverse. I don't know. We definitely have a woman here who's not happy. Mean-spirited. Letting go. Four of pentacles reverse. This is letting go. Somebody is letting go of something that they were holding on to. They're opening up. They're about to open up. They're letting go of their fear. They were holding on to something for safety reasons. It was secure. It felt secure, but it wasn't making them happy because the Eight of Cups is reversed. It was, it was superficial. And they have a strong desire with this Ace of Wands. Maybe they have a strong desire to, to let go. There's a golden opportunity here that, that, you, that is real, okay? It is, that Ace of Pentacles is real, okay? It's something you can actually grasp. It's not fluid, it's not all over the place, you know, it's something solid. Somebody may be even expressing their feelings. They may be, I don't know if they're gonna be, I mean, this could be an expression of love. I mean, it definitely could be. Oh. Slipping away, getting away, going away, going away from the emotionally unfulfilling situation. This person has definitely been thinking about it a lot. There's been some sort of conflict. There's been some hospitalities. There's been a lot of fighting. And I say that because before the Six of Swords is the Five of Swords. This is like a breaking point. It's like, I can't do this anymore. I can't fight this fight anymore. I, I can't. It's just a constant battle. It's a constant battle really in feelings emotions it's and we may even have somebody here that is drinking you know they're drinking they're drinking they're drinking they're drinking and we may have somebody here that just does something spontaneous with that ace of wands it could be a sudden desire to do something with that seven of swords next to it but I feel like this person has thought about it a lot they've already planned it you know they've already planned their departure you know it's already been thought out. <laughs> There's consequences here. There's some sort of consequences. There's been a lot of suffering. This is leaving the past hurts behind, going somewhere, letting go, letting go. Emotions all over the place. There is emotion. Somebody's going to be acting on their feelings doing something passionate passionate because it's next to that fire i mean that ace of wands is fire release 
release. That four of pentacles is a release. Four of pentacles, and I do, I do feel like we have emotions, a release of emotions, a release not holding on, letting go. Sudden desire to let go. Taking an opportunity. Five of Cups. We have grieving. Grieving over a loss. We have somebody here that's grieving. They're sad. They, I don't know, we may even have prolonged grief here. We may have wallowing, you know, focusing on a loss, not realizing that there's an opportunity for love elsewhere. Ignoring an opportunity. Regrets. I feel like there's some regrets here. I feel like I feel like we I also feel like we have a woman that is going to be having some regrets. She may have been vindictive. She may have been vindictive trying to get back at somebody and it I don't know if it backfires. She may end up with regrets that she has to live with. I feel like there's some deception here. There's some lies. I'm not sure if we have somebody that, we have the Queen of Cups mirroring the Seven of Swords. That's lies, that's deception. That's, I don't know if it's slander or somebody that has done something to deceive another person. Which has caused somebody a lot of pain. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is teamwork, working together, communication, third party situation. I wonder if we have a third party situation here. Somebody was, I don't know, we may even have some gossip. We, I, we may have three people that have been working together to hurt somebody. I hate to say that, but it's mirroring the Three of Swords. And then we have, and, that, and it's interesting because in the five of cups, now I have the two cups covered up and I have the three spilled cups crying over the spilled milk. We have somebody here that's cry, that is acting in a vindictive manner because their feelings got hurt and they're going to regret it. They are going to regret it. They could be dealing with somebody's bitch mother, I don't know, in the future. Um, what else do we got? Because the Empress in reverse is a mother that is not very nice, perhaps. I don't know. Um, three of Pentacles. That's working together as a team, teamwork, getting together, communication, cooperating. But it's next to the Five of Cups, which is grieving, grieving, grieving over a loss, a separation, a breakup. I think we have a third party situation here and I feel like we have an individual that doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. So they may have caused some trouble and they're going to regret it because the Five of Cups is regrets. Maybe, maybe whoever they cause trouble for is leaving, they're leaving, you know, somebody's going somewhere. They're about to be re so some sort of release, release of passion, passion, uh, slipping away, making an escape, putting plans in action. Somebody's going to be putting their plans in action. They're taking an opportunity. Nine of Cups, taking an opportunity for wish fulfillment, happiness. This is the good life. This is wishes coming true, realizing dreams. Somebody is realizing their dreams. They're going after happiness. This is wish fulfillment. And it comes after the Eight of Cups where somebody is leaving and they're headed right towards 
abundance. You're, okay, this is abundance. This is happiness. This is wish fulfillment. This is dreams coming true. Taking an opportunity for love. Okay, you know, when you see the eight of cups are behind him and he's got that one cup in his hand, somebody is leaving an emotionally disappointing situation behind them and they are taking an opportunity for love. They are. This could even be a new sexual partner here, a new exciting beginning that is solid, that is real, could be falling in love or something that is like they've been confused, They've but now it's time to leave the past hurts behind and go somewhere. There may even be an arrival with that Six of Swords and the Knight of uh, Cups right next to it. We may have the arrival of a lover, you know, or this person is coming to take somebody somewhere. We could even have socializing, going to a get together, going to a party with that Nine of Cups. Opening up, communicating, getting together. Leaving behind an emotionally withdrawn individual who is emotionally unavailable, that is unwilling to open up their heart. Leaving that person behind. This person isn't doing anything. They're not expressing their feelings. They're emotionally closed off. They don't have any good, good intentions. That's leaving that person behind. Opening the heart, opening the heart. Somebody's going to be opening their heart to somebody else, I believe. Taking a golden opportunity. There's courting here. There is. You're going to be pleased, very, very pleased because this is getting together, working together. Nine of Cups is pleased. It's very happy. There's also justice on the bottom. This is a realignment. This is doing the right thing, acting with integrity, making a decision, a final decision. So there is a final decision that is being made, a fair and just decision. Everything is turning out as it should. There's a realignment here. A decision is being made. Opening up to a new exciting path. I mean, the ace of the four of pentacles reversed next to the ace of wands. That is that's letting go of insecurities, letting go of what you were holding on to for an exciting new beginning. I mean, come on now. This is what you deserve, okay? This is a card of justice, getting what you deserve. Somebody's probably going to be honest and upfront as well with their feelings. Oh, we got one that fell out. Three of Cups. There's going to be a get together. There, there, there is. This is happiness. This is a celebration, having fun, socializing, getting together, partying, having fun. Somebody's going to be getting get, getting together with somebody and having fun. Good luck.